Let's take a look at how the measurement window works using a Barbieri LFP. To put your target definition file into place for the software to find it, you can either hit open and browse to the specific location for your reference, or you can open the target folder and copy and paste your reference into the folder for your instrument. Putting it in the folder for the LFP means that it will show up in this list when you choose the LFP instrument. With the way we drive the LFP table, you have many options for measuring. Auto positioning is for those Barbieri targets that have the auto positioning bars on the top and sides. Hit auto position and click start. Depending on your settings, you may get a message telling you to change the filter for your LFP to a UV filter or a polarization filter or a null filter. When the measurement is done, the file is automatically saved. If you don't have auto positioning bars on your target, maybe you're not measuring a Barbieri target, then you can choose manual positioning. Like the Gateway software, we give you the option of aiming on the little black half circle points on the edges of their targets, or you can choose to aim directly on the corners. And start. Follow the instructions about aligning the target at the three corners. You use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the table. If you want to move a longer distance, you can hold down the shift key while using the arrows. Put your filter into place if you need to change it. So that's how manual positioning works. Let's try another one. This is how memory scan works. To try this, first you choose set memory, and you have three different ways you can do this. You can use the auto positioning bars to sort of mark in memory where the target is. That's pretty self-explanatory. But in most cases, you'll probably be using a smaller target for this purpose. So let's use this Idea Alliance two row target. With memory scan positioning, you won't even have the option for auto positioning because it's not a Barbieri target. We'll use corner aiming. You see, if you have a control strip target that gets printed on a sheet the same way every day, and if you have a way to set the sheet on the table the exact same way every day, then you can feed in the coordinates one time, and every time after that, you go to measure a target, you just have to place the target and hit start. So that's what we're doing. We're setting the memory locations first. Select the three corners as you would normally. Remember that this is identifying the location for all the targets going forward. So do a good, careful job. It brings you back to this main window again, and now the initial memory has been stored. So all you have to do is hit start, and the table automatically skips directly to the coordinates you set and starts measuring. You can mark on the table with tape, or make a simple jig or a backstop to butt your sheets up to so you can always place them in the same place. As you can imagine, this will make the LFP very quick and easy to use in a daily routine. You just place your target and hit start. This is an extra feature that Chromix has added to our software to make it better than ever. Thanks for watching.